who all around overall is your greatest basketball player of all time? LeBron, ain't no hesitation to that. Make your case. I, it, I agree with you, but make your case. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are live with our very special guest, Mr. Bridges. How we doing today? Excited for this interview and for us to chop it up, play this game. Brooklyn's actually my favorite team. Dad grew up in New York, so glad to have you team-wise and have you on the show as well, man. What's going on? Man, I'm good, man. I'm uh I'm excited to be here. How about we hold right trigger and then a little cat, little three, two, one countdown, and wherever it lands, we just we roll with that. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay. Ah, all right, I'm with it. I'm <laughs> our, our, our G Fuel tip off may got a little interrupted, but we back on track now, man. <laughs> and then just a little bit about G Fuel. You know, it's basically a cheat code in the can. Overall, how would you say that it helps you level up your game? Man, I think it just provides that clean energy for me, man. It gets me all. Locked in, I don't, I don't drink coffee, or anything like that. My experience with it is absolutely fantastic. Overall, in real life, you know, with within your day job, who is the hardest player in the league to guard? Ah, oh, that's tough. You know, you know, it's crazy. Like to really like staying in front, a guy, especially for me, like Trey Young, like just how mm. small he is and how quick he is. For like, sure. He, like he's like one of the toughest guys. You know what I'm saying? Guys like Steph, Luca, those guys as well, bro. Like they're just on another level, honestly. What do you think you need to improve the most just from from like a you as a player standpoint to really take that next step into superstar? I just think, obviously, as you know, you go got the whole, I got everything about basketball to get better oh, at, gosh. but oh, I, I hate too little. I think, um, I think for me personally, playmaking. I think the playmaking and just like maybe having the ball you know, just more of my hands and, you know, not shooting every time and just getting everybody involved. And for sure, I think really just playmaking throughout the, you know, the whole 48, the whole time I'm out there. Something I got to look at and I'm going to take, you know, another step just into this offseason and work on things like that. So I think probably playmaking is probably number one. Who's your, I guess, goat of playmaking in general? Danny Green, give me that. Oh, Ooh. my God. Playmaking in general. I mean, I got to go former teammate. I got to go CP. For sure. For I gotta sure. go see, and I think it helps me for the position I'm at now, just being able to be around him for years and, and learn and watch. And you, know, you pick a guy's brain like that, it's just like, like that's what makes him so different. Cause you're like, wait, you, you see everything like that? You know what I'm saying? Like you look into the game, well, yeah, you better, you better guard Mike over there. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's just how he sees the game. It's just, you know, that's why it makes him a Hall of Famer and one of the best pieces of all time is just, his mindset, you know, and not everybody has that. And I can tell you, I definitely wasn't one until I talked to him and I started realizing like, oh, like, that's what you're looking at? That's what you see? I'm like, yeah, it brings up a whole another side of my brain that I just did. I'm like, oh, damn, like, let me, let me, let me start thinking about things like that. So a hundred percent, I think C, CP is one of the biggest for sure. The video of you and him doing your celebration. Can you just give me the backstory of that? Cause I'm not too familiar with how, with how you know, that, that, that celebration hey. came about. I'm upset. <laughs> I don't know how that celebration came about. What's the backstory kind of behind that? So I really got it from um, the Padres, like the MLB team. But I played MLB the show and I'm like big tapped into baseball. Love my Phillies, shout out to the Phillies, man. You know, when they get an extra base hit and they get on base. They point to the, little, the dugout. It was just point and it'll hit turn, right? They'll just point mm. and just like hit turn. Like, that's tough. I was just watching it. And it was like in the summer and stuff. I'm like, that's tough. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just kind of add that for this year. Just do a three point celebration. Have the three point celebration out. And it just like tilt my head back and forth. Mm. I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. And then I just stuck with it. And I was doing it. Oh my gosh. Oh, goodness. Oh, his release is slow. Oh, man. thank goodness. Oh, 2K done save me. Oh, no, you see. Crazy. I tell C to this day, like, I've been doing that every game. And I said, listen, C, I'm like, the reason why it got so famous and so popular is like, because you were in it. <laughs> I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm like, you're CP3. And the world posted that just because of you, you were in it. And it just blew it up. One thing I got to ask you about Luca got a deeper bag than KD, bro. Oh, uh, here y'all go, bro. Here go the world. <laughs> They go to war with this. You know what's so crazy about the world? Yes, he does. And the thing is, it's like you say that, most people are just like, oh, he has a deeper bag? So you're saying KD has no bag? I'm like, question was, who has a deeper bag? They both have deep bags. Oh, no bailout is terrible. You're dumb, Bruce. Hey. Oh, I'm not jumping. I learned my lesson. But everybody's just like, oh, KD has no bag? Like, what are you talking about? Listen to that. I'm like, <laughs> first of all, the question is, who has a deeper bag? They both have serious bags. Got 
And KD, you know, got the mean left and right cross. He got he got a hell of game and stuff. But right now, especially like he's just a, just a little more simplified because he's seven feet. And the thing is, he get to whatever spot he wants at, at any time. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Uncle Jeff. Uh, like he gets to any spot he wants. So it's like, it's kind of a little bit, but Luca is just a little different how he goes, bro. It's just, KD will cross over three times, get to the spot. Luca will cross over like 10 times, bro. He'll cross over like 10 times before you get to the spot. And, he, and his pace, like he's slower. Like KD can beat you with speed. Like Luca's not beating you with speed. You gotta have even more of a crazy skill set to get now. to your spots. KD's one of my favorite players. Like, I have been watching this dude since I was a kid. I'm like, I know his game. I know I know all about his game. I had questions about about it. And he, Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's what I was saying. <laughs> KCB. Before you had to, before you had KCB. To, before you had to throw an ICBM up towards the rim. <laughs> gosh. Overall during halftime, what I meant to ask you, uh, with our G Fuel kind of game break, makes all them six AM conditioning sessions that we have. We don't even have that many. But for the ones that we do have I'm still drinking a watermelon lime. Oh. What's your What's your favorite overall G Fuel flavor? I think maybe like the Sonic Peach Rings. Probably that's my favorite. That's the that Sonic yeah, Peach Rings, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm locked in. I just love that they just don't have no sugar. Man, you got me out here fumbling over questions because I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here getting befuddled. <laughs> Who's the best on the team right now at 2K? And who Who would you say is even the best in the league? If you think you could speak on it. On my team, see, I haven't played nobody yet, but Lob was very confident. You know, you know, one person who thinks he's probably really good is my boy Royce, Royce O'Neal. Thinks he's nice. I'll probably get him out the way easily. Um, so honestly, I'll say I'm the best. One more. Okay, uh, see. And he's got uh, Honestly, in the be. league, I don't play 2K as much as I used to. I know Book is nice. I'll give him that. Book is Book a game. nice. Book's nice, yeah. Oh, Fine Yoke, fine yoke, good things happen. Count it! I'm upset. What? Upset. What you think of what Brian said? About the retirement? But I ain't, I ain't gonna say that whole word, but about future plans being a little bit cloudier than previously thought. I don't know what goes to that man's mind. I can't imagine playing 20 years in the league and being as dominant as him. So I don't even know how his damn body feels. Nah, for you real. You know what I'm saying? And especially off like the Nuggets series, like them boys move. They move without the ball so mm -hmm. well. That catching up on him makes it tough, but he's too much a competitor. I think when all is said and done, he's like, yeah, he's gonna keep playing, but take off. Oh, what's the difference between being in college and being in the league and stuff? I'm just like, free time, man. Like, I'll get to practice early. Practice might not be as crazy because you play so many games. You can be done around like 1230, you know, 12, 1230. And like, I have the rest of the day. So why not take another hour and a half to take care of my body and do what's good for me? Because this is my job, man. You do whatever it takes with any other job. You're going to, oh my gosh. I, I was trying to go for the buzzer beater and I was going to act like I won. I ain't going <laughs> to lie to you. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, man, I got you. I know we wrapped up the game with our G Fuel post game interview. You feel me? Um, yeah, that, got, definitely need this after a big dub. I need this to recharge so I can so I can get focused. And, and hey, I got I got to focus up. You want to see my what I got in my fridge and stuff? It's just like <laughs> a bunch load of all different type of flavors. You know where you can find them at? You no know, vitamins shop, Target, like Walmart. I got Target next to me, so. It's easy, just, you know, if I run out, I can just go to the store right around the corner. It's not like it's just one flavor, you know what I'm saying? They got, you no know, multiple. For sure, for sure. And I guess, you know, who's the top guy that, like, if you had to choose, like, yo, I want to play with him. Our games mesh together well. He's a superstar. He's great. For whatever reason, who is <laughs> I say now, just in the future, probably one of my Villanova teammates. Probably a guy like Jalen or Josh. Like, have one of them guys, and I know it's going to go crazy, but probably one of them days just, Reunite with my boys maybe one day. What does making, you know, an all NBA team look like for you? Obviously it's just like the thing you just want to add to your resume and shows the highlights, you know, how good you are and how hard you work. But the team has to be winning. You know, for us in Brooklyn, I think just gotta win and just be playing the right way. And I think there's obviously an opportunity. I'm gonna continue to work hard and keep getting better. But you know, as long as, you know, the team winning and everything goes right, I think that's just gonna help, you know, that whole situation. But you know, it's tough. It's it's really tough. You know, good things happen when you win. So who all around overall is your greatest basketball player 
of all time. LeBron ain't no hesitation to that. Make your case. I, just, I agree with you, but make your case. Man, you just want to play on a team that does everything. You want a guy that will just take over whenever. It's crazy that in like 2013, 2014, and even like 15, you can be known as the greatest player ever and still keep getting better. I think his jump shot, I'll give it to him. Like his jump shot been looking real nice. The biggest thing on LeBron guarding him is like, just back up, you know? Like, yeah. you know, he likes to get to the rim, but now you got to kind of be up a little bit. Now you're going to what he wants. Like he wants to go past you and take off. Him adding that aspect brought his game to another level. I feel like if I was one of the players on his team, like why would you not want him on your team? Because he's just going to make everybody look better. And I got to say, LeBron, obviously, look at the numbers. Look at everything. Nah, like, what do you want? For look, sure. Like, I don't blame the Jordan and stuff because I didn't grow up watching Jordan. So like, I didn't either. I'm just going to go off to some highlights and go off just what people say. Like, no, that's not right. I won't go off what I've been watching what I've been seeing all these years and even now and being in the league and guarding them and, and this is when he's older you know what I'm saying like yeah, you, know, you, yeah. you watch games back in the day too in Miami and stuff so I gotta say LeBron easily Kel appreciate you you stepping out and, and showing me what 2k is all about apparently <laughs> I'm just sorry I had to watch that beat down that's uh, crazy you know this just make sure you do it with a G fuel in your hand all right just have a G fuel next to your side smile <sighs> got you know. me